We gotta pray the most half of evil. Yeah. We gotta pray the most half of evil. Mm. We gotta hope and pray that he don't kill us. Yeah. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. I drop to my knees and I pray to the Father. Scream so lucky, you're out by your hour. He got the light, he got the power. We got the truth. Now is the hour. My people been fighting for so long. He done been doing us so wrong. He know we ready to go home. Won't be much longer, just hold on. I drop to my knees and I pray to the Father. Scream so lucky, you're out by your hour. He got the light, he got the power. We got the truth. Now is the hour. My people been fighting for so long. YouTube, YouTube was in, it was in, it's your boy Frank Needy. We back with a whole nother video. You know what time it is, we all check in it. Grinding, right now, I'm at Allentown, PA, at the little travel place, or whatever like that, but it's cold as hell up here. It's cold, like, <laughs> I wasn't, I had prepared for this. I wasn't prepared, it's like it just, it be coming overnight. But, I just delivered my load out to New Jersey. I had another one picking up out of New Jersey, it canceled. So I booked another one for tomorrow that was paying like $300 more than the one that I had today. Well, I'm not really too much tripping on it. Um, I did finally get the news though about the low securement class that they having coming up. So I'll be taking my low securement class out. Um, I'll be taking it in December. I think you said December 4th. Not even getting no wrong days. No, December 5th to the 6th. And then you see that the trailers, it take about four to six weeks to get a trailer. So, I ain't too much tripping on it. I'm gonna just try to take as many of those on securement class for that time being. So that, you know, I can kind of get it down pack or whatever like that. I really do wish that I had more like, um, like training opportunities like when i first started driving i really wasn't thinking about doing flatbed and then when i went the road runner they had a couple of them flatbeds that was already like preloaded so i was just able just to like you know they give you the little ball with the trailer and you just tighten the straps down then i ran into a guy when i was over there with usc truck he was pulling parts he showed me you know what i'm saying how to do it i've been watching a whole bunch of videos or whatever like that um, the guy at Trucker Brown, I've been watching his videos to see, you know, how to do it. Um, I got a couple homeboys that do flatbed as well, but you know, there's going to be another learning curve, which I do feel like is really not solely a hundred percent for the money. Um, when it comes to just getting into flatbed, it's really for the experience. Cause I do want to like move forward into like heavy haul and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Probably give me like a step dick or something like, you know. Of that nature and pull some like big money loads you know it's kind of like move up now with my with the with the whole trucking career so this what i'm about to try to go ahead and get into i ain't gonna lie i'm actually like you're like a nervous feeling but i pulled it before so it shouldn't be that bad it shouldn't be that bad i pulled two of them out of miami going to athens georgia but it was already preloaded like i said so i'm really not had too much you know tripping on it but I already see what, it, what it's talking about, you know. Go ahead and get the experience up. Smack them tarps. Somebody told me that, yeah, like during the winter time, you don't want to be doing it. But hey, more content, more experience. I'm, I'm pretty much ready for it, you know. And I know um, a couple of dudes, like, yeah, when it comes down to the appointment times, it's not a whole bunch of appointments. Like, a lot of the dudes that do flatbed, they say they ride during the day, like early morning, and be shut down or whatever like that. I'm just trying to get the experience. Like, used to have that skateboard baked up. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely uh ready to go ahead and do that. But let's see, I, I pick up tomorrow. This load goes to Alachua, Florida. But the load is paying like 30, um, This load paid 3600 in a lion haul and it's 14 1448 in fuel surcharge. But to me that was a pretty decent load. Pretty decent load. It's two pickups though. And it's supposed to be like 20,000 pounds. You know, uh the whole trailer is supposed to be like 20,000 pounds. So I just feel like that was a decent load for me to go ahead go down um I think it's like 900 and something miles. 
who delivered it, bring it back up. My pre period end on Tuesday, so I probably head back up, get some Monday, deliver it Monday evening, Tuesday. Hopefully I can find me like a 25 or 3,000 and just call it a week. The the rate's been kind of, you know, the rate's been kind of bad, but I'm not really too much, you know. Like I said, I'm not really tripping. It's just that I know that the rates everywhere is down, but I'd rather get into the flatbed. Then I saw something else with like the dual head, like the curtain thing over his his flatbed, you know. He was telling me how much they, and he was showing me like the little website where I could go and get one or whatever like that. Like the trailer was like sixty, seventy thousand dollars for a brand new one. So you know what I'm saying? And I know like in my latest video when I was talking about loans and stuff or whatever like that, dude was like. People like, oh yeah, it's bad to have debt, man. All debt, not bad debt. You know what I'm saying? You want to keep, you know, you want to keep it to keep building yourself. Like, I'm not going to just crash out, you know what I'm saying? And put all my money in one basket type deal. Or all your little eggs. However y'all proper motherfuckers see it. This what it is. You know what I'm saying? This ain't going to be no long video. I'm just chilling for the day. And I'm going to end it right there. You know, hey, Drop down in the comment section, you know what I'm saying? Let me know about your flatbed experience and what you think about the flatbed, you know, division, if you all were last or, or wherever you at at this point, you know what I'm saying? Because I really want to know and how you can elevate through flatbed and, you know, heavy haul and all that extra stuff, you know. Um, yeah, definitely do that. Definitely do that. I appreciate y'all and I'll catch up with you on the next one.